Hey guys, it's Matt. I uh, want to do an uh, update. Um, I apologize, I haven't uh, been able to do an update. Uh, I've been kind of only getting like 20 minutes here and there, and uh, I've decided to vent by working on stuff instead of uh, shooting a video. So, uh, <clears throat> so here it goes. So I've been working on the third level, which is what you see right now. Um, these are uh, my uh, VNO uh, cars that are sitting in Afton Yard. Um, this is going to be. This is actually on the third level. So the way it comes up is through the helix right there. And apologize, I have. I've been trying to reorganize things, so it's kind of a mess on the layout. Um, but off of this switch right back here, it'll go off, connect in there, and go up the helix, come out on top, right where that, uh, right where the box is, come around, and connect in with the track right there, which goes into a double slip right here, and it can either go into the yard or it can then go across onto uh, the main line and continue on to the rest of the layout. Uh, the way that I have this set up now is you have with Afton Yard um, I have a uh, uh, little car shop right there. There's a uh, roundhouse there that's no longer in use um, and then right in front, I've got a, a three-way switch with, uh, what I'm going to have is a little, uh, um, three-bay, uh, engine house that'll be in that area. Um, uh, coming over onto this side, I've got an old, uh, coaling tower. Uh, I've got a, a plow, crane, and a couple of engines that are just going to be sitting off to the side here. I've got my, uh, uh, top of flat car area or team track, whichever is going to be. Uh, there's going to be a little ramp where that uh, truck is sitting. Um, so basically right there, it's going to be a ramp so that that way they can back up, get the truck, and uh, drive off. Um, the other thing in the yard is uh, the little hotel uh, for the yard. Um, where the ruler is, I'm working with my buddy in Hungary. Uh, we're trying to figure out what we want to do uh, as far as a little building on that side. Because um, the road is right here and so I'm gonna scoot back a little so the road goes here and in front of those buildings and a little dirt road goes off over there but right here we're looking at what we can build uh, you know a little business building or light industrial uh, not 100% certain what we're planning on doing um, but as far as along there um, I've got uh, some wood that I'm gonna be putting in and then a skyboard uh, which is actually sitting right there um, that's what's gonna go up so that way it's gonna be a view block because uh, this side is gonna be kind of flat so <clears throat> at this level you know what I did was um, I kind of bit the bullet and got uh, uh, a lot of the uh, um, Woodland Scenics buildings just because they're really nice um, and with being right here you're gonna be at eye level so right here is eye level so you can actually you know, as you can see you're gonna be seen into the buildings seeing all the detail so I figured uh, why not um, right here is a little uh, um, it's a little uh, bandstand um, I ordered a, a band to go inside uh, it's all it's an all brass kit oh, sorry about that see if I can get it into focus. There we go. It's an all brass kit. Um, you can see the, you know, you've got the uh, music stands sitting in there. Um, I've got just those two right now, uh, but I've got all the other parts for, for the kit sitting right here. So as soon as I get the uh, band in, uh, it's they're made by Notch. Um, in fact, I actually had to order it from uh, Portugal. Uh, so as soon as those uh, come over, I can put the guys in and finish up the detailing on that. Um, one stupid thing that I've realized 
<clears throat> I wanted this to look like it was aged brass. Um, so I painted it. Completely forgot this is actual brass and I could have just thrown it in the water and let it uh, do its natural thing. So uh, <laughs> kind of screwed up on that. But eh, I think it's pretty close to what I'm going after. So this is going to be a, a Veterans Park all in this area right here. Um, you know, just as a little area for uh, the Afton City. Uh, the Afton Station, which is right here, this is also going to be the uh, headquarters for the VNO. And on the inside, it is detailed with people inside. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but uh, it does have details on the inside. It's all lit, so that's going to be nice. Um, one other area that I've done up, I'm going to get back up so that you can see this. So coming out of the yard, going through the double slip, and going across this diamond right here, this little thing goes to my logging camp. Now, the way that I've got this set up is I've got a uh, derail sitting right here so that that way, you know, if uh, it's not ready to go to the yard or if it is, you, know, you can still, you know, set it up either way. So derail here or continue and follow the main or go into the yard with it. So the way that I have it set up, I've got a uh, two stall uh, roundhouse right here, which is going to have a uh, shea in there, as well as this little guy right here. So <clears throat> this is gonna be the engine that can go into Afton Yard. The uh, shea can only work in the logging yard itself. So it can only work the uh, four tracks right there because Afton Yard will not allow a steam engine to uh, cross over their main. So that's kind of how I have it set up. Uh, just kind of a fun little operations. Um, but you know, I've got uh, all my stuff sitting up here. So this is the way that it's gonna be set up. Uh, I do have a few uh, equipment, uh, logging equipment coming in from Canada. Um, so as soon as those get here, uh, they should be here probably within the next month, month and a half. Um, I'll get those uh, set up. Uh, hopefully I'll have them painted. But uh, <clears throat> this is uh, what I have kind of set up for this. Um, the logo on, you know, because this is an undecorated. So I'm going to have a logo made up for right here. And then have the wording of the, uh, oops, sorry about that. Have the wording across there. Um, <clears throat> same as on the Shay. Uh, this is going to be called Morning Wood Lumber. Um, some people will get that joke. So my wife laughed at it, so I was happy with that. <laughs> so I could, I could use that. Uh, she allowed me to use the name since she laughed at it. So this one right here will continue on and go up that side of the mountain. That's the reversing loop. Then, or that's the return loop. Then off of that, as you can see, this is the reversing loop coming in. So the mountain will actually have two lines going up and over. And so one will be the reversing loop to come back in, or the one will be on the outside and be the return loop for continuous operation. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how I have this set up. And I apologize for all the movement. So leaving Afton Yard, right here you've got, the way that this is set up is you've got the main, which this is the main uh, continuous run track right here. And then this is the main uh, for coming up from the other levels or going to the other levels. And then this is the yard entrance going in. Um, I have marked where these are gonna be. I have a lot of uh, tunnels, a lot of mountains on this uh, third level. So this is all gonna be inside of a uh, tunnel. So this is all gonna be mountainous for the view block. Um, then coming around right here, 
right here is where it's going to come out of the mountain and on top is going to be a uh, coal mine right here so that that way uh, this next area will be serviced um, for that coal mine and for two other uh, uh, light industries so coming out of here you've got again the main a passing siding which is also going to be for the station stop and then you got the entrance into the yard which is just going to be a couple track yard um, not a lot but this is the other end of the uh, uh, track so again you go you know having finished off the uh, cork on this side but this will be um, you know your, your passing siding your main your yard over here then going off on the back right there which is going to go behind there and over here uh, is going to be a gravel company and then coming off of that one is going to be a I'll move these so you can see them so you can see it a uh, lumber company so you know you'll get center beams and uh, you know box cars of wood uh, coming in and out of here um, <clears throat> but that's what that's all that I've got for this area so I've got the coal mine up there and then these two industries here so other than that <clears throat> we move on and here's where it goes from the uh, continuous run to a reversing track and as you can see in the back um, you know, I have not finished all the track work yet but this is uh, what goes around the helix and you know I can just keep this as a continuous run um, I'm gonna have a tunnel portal tunnel portal over here another tunnel portal over here and again these are two tracks that are going up and through the mountain so that way there's no switch hidden it's two separate lines inside the mountain um, so that's how that's going to be then in front here this will go and goes into a little uh, three track area for this coal mine And then as it comes out of here, then I've got one industry right here, which is going to be a marble company, which uh, this side of the mountain is going to be kind of cut out, you know, as if they're doing, uh, you know, mining for, you know, granite and all that. So that'll be that uh, coming along here. Then right here is going to be another little uh, tunnel portal. And again, you have to remember all that track back there is all going to be hidden all the way up to there. So from there all the way as that's descending, it's all double track all the way to those tunnel portals there. Then this tunnel portal goes to right here. And so this will be you know, a nice mountainside. Um, then I've got another uh, coal company, the Union Coal Company, which sits off here. I'm going to have uh, that trestle uh, cut into that area, so it'll be kind of a little gorge area, neat little scene. Then again, as it leaves the Union Coal, sorry, I had to put that back up, um, it'll enter a uh, nuddle, another tunnel. So you've got another portal right there, and then that one exits right here and comes into Colwood, which is which has the mine right there. I've got a small little uh, engine shop for the VNO, small little uh, station. Now I made one little goof. Um, because the main line has cork and all the yard tracks don't, um, I forgot to give myself space between the uh, main and the yard. So that's why I had to go with this type of switch because there's no way that I could have put a, a floating uh, uh, turnout control there. So that's the only one that's going to look, look like that. So not happy with it, but hey, you know what? If that's what it has to be, then that's what it has to be. So I'm fine with it. Um, coming around here, it splits. 
and it goes through a uh, snow shed, which is sitting right there. Um, <clears throat> if anyone has ever seen the movie uh, October Sky, that's where uh, the coal wood comes from, as well as a little scene right here. Um, this is the abandoned line that they had, and in the movie they are ripping up rail to uh, pay for rocket parts. So that's gonna be the little portion of rail that uh, you know that they're ripping up. So gonna do that. Just have a little scene uh, again. Two track main. You got a little crossover. <clears throat> then right here you've got a four track yard, and this is actually the uh, Clinchfield yard. So this is uh, these are all my uh, Clinchfield engines that I've got sitting here. There's, uh, you know, just getting service here. Um, over here, this is actually going to be a uh, covered bridge going over these two. So then I'll have like a, you know, like a brick wall right here or a rock wall and have the road continue off into the mountain. <clears throat> um, but uh, then from there, then, you know, underneath the bridge, it comes out and starts into a uh, yard here and another coal uh, uh, facility. And then that will all come down and reconnect into the main right there, as well as you can see the uh, two tracks go back into one and the tunnel starts right here, coming around this way. This is all gonna be inside of a tunnel. This is my uh, observatory that's gonna be sitting on top of the mountain. Um, might add a LED or two into it, kind of, you know, have it a little fun little piece then coming along and comes out of the tunnel right here to a uh, another switch where it goes in the back or you can go in the front uh, if you go in the back you enter one more tunnel right there or in the front you go through the snow shed but with the back track you then come out of the tunnel right there sorry about that um, I just have these cars on just kind of testing the track work uh, I'm not running anything just yet but uh, then from there it splits off into two different sets of tracks and right where all my supplies are right back here that's gonna be a uh, lumber mill so I'm waiting on uh, my buddy Ron to uh, build that one up uh, he's building the uh, lumber uh, the lumber mill building there as well as the coal mine that's gonna be sitting right there so coming back over here you can see you've got the two lines here as well as the uh, uh, main runaround track now this kind of has a little sweeping curve uh, because right here is gonna be kind of a hillside so it's so at eye level um, once the train passes like right here you kind of lose it until it comes back into sight right along here. So then from there, goes across the diamond and into the return loop, which again, right here is gonna be, oops, sorry about that, I'm trying to get this set up. Um, you know, that'll be the uh, tunnel entrance and then another tunnel entrance over there. So that's all gonna be tunnel on this side. So mountains and all that. So you, that way you kind of don't see the, the train really running a lot in the back. Um, but I've got a little uh, uh, diamond with a uh, area for the train to come back in and, you know, can dump off cars on one of these two tracks and then do a run around on it and push it across the diamond and into my other coal yard. Or right here is the uh, uh, Chessie station. So that's gonna be a line as if that's another main line coming out and that's connecting to the main and I'm gonna go across there. So that's gonna be the connection for the Chessie system into the uh, VNO and uh, Clinchfield uh, tracks. So kind of a busy operation, but uh, it'll be a fun one. So, you know, I've got the lumber mill on this side and this is all going to be scenery mountains with trees so there's not going to be a lot of uh, uh, buildings on this side you know I might have uh, you know I have that little bridge that little wooden bridge 
which is going to go, you know, probably over here and then another bridge over there. So kind of a mountainous road. Um, but that's what I've got so far. Um, as far as today, I ended up getting to this part where I'm down to uh, this end of the track where I need to start curving the uh, cork to go up. I first have to put all the uh, spacers in, or all the risers, I should say. Um, but once those are all in, then I can start putting the cork and the track again. So that's all that I've got for uh, this end. Um, I The two turnouts that I had here, um, they were just temporary ones. I've got a couple other temporary ones, um, you know, like this one where you can see it's, you know, broken on one side. Um, I just have those sitting right there just for right now so that that way I know what I'm going to do. Um, and that way I can kind of have the track kind of laid out as to how I want it. Um, but I'm just going to come back and, you know, put new turnouts in and be good to go. So with that being said, here is an overview of the third level. goes around the Afton Yard, logging and the Helix down. So <clears throat> that being said, um, I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe, uh, like this. I know I'm not good at editing these videos, so I apologize. These are just mainly just to give you an idea of what I'm doing. Um, not trying to do a full motion picture here. Um, because I don't really know how to. So with that being said, I uh, hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you guys on the next one. Um, oh yeah, one last thing I was going to say, um, on the uh, uh, lower level and on the uh, main level, all the ground throws are in. So those are all installed, ready to go. And I'm just going back now and putting in the uh, power feeds so that that way I can connect up all the power and get everything going. So, um, oh yeah, and you'll see this side is dark only because I'm working on the upper level. Um, I just unplugged all the lighting for this peninsula just because it didn't make sense to have it all lit when I'm looking on the top right here. So, <laughs> um, hope that you guys enjoy this. Um, hopefully I'll have a lot more done up the next time that uh, I do another video. Uh, with, so with that being said, hope you guys like this and I will see you guys later.